Hi everyone, we're in Yamagata right now. We're at uh, Aoki-san's uh, house and also his workshop, which is behind me. And today we're gonna learn from Aoki-san how he sharpens uh, a noko. Uh, I brought a gagari here today and also I brought a uh, noko that I left with him um, about a month ago uh, at the last Keizerokai. So we're gonna go inside of his shop right now and we're gonna say hi to Aoki-san. ございます。青木さん。もちろん。全部全部で。これ。結構傷んでますか。だから見立て<笑>気をつけないといけないポイントって何ですか。やっぱりはそれをいかに上手に使いこなすわけね。うん。最初に使ったのってどの工具ですか。最初ね。うん。頭鳴らすのは。うん。使い、使い終わったやつでき。同じもの?う
So um, I guess at the end, you got to take that burr off. Yeah, it's a little bit, it catches the skin. Before this was, uh, I got this at a, at a discount shop, at a secondhand shop, and I just liked that all the teeth were there and they were all complete, nothing was broken. So I wanted to save it because it was rusting in that store. So I, I oiled it up a little bit when I got home and I brought it to Alkisan who started sharpening it here. And I think it's looking really good right now. But I'm gonna take the handle off. So you can see the, uh, the handle coming off. You hit right here. Not quite. So normally when you see these nokols when they're made by hand, this part right here is half the length of the blade part that goes into the handle. So this is quite long. And this says Ichise Roku Maru Hachi. I don't know what this means. Toroku. Toroku. Okay. So there you go. This is a little bit bent, yeah. これ a れ l e bit of a little 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 bit so he's got a, several different file types and I, I'd like to find out like what's the different uh, I guess you know I don't know how you describe a file but there's different uh, textures to them right so he's using several different ones. Some are very fine, and some are a little bit more coarse. And he makes his own handles. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Algisan is filing each one of these teeth, but he's doing it based on a feel. Like a, there's a certain smoothness that he's like looking for when he pushes that file through. And you know, sometimes he pushes it seven times. Sometimes he pushes it eight times. Sometimes he pushes it nine times. But it's all based on this sense of feel that it has for each one of these teeth. And right now it feels a little coarse, so he pushes a couple more times, right? And so it feels that get getting a little smoother. Can you hear that sound? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a bit of a high pitched sound on this one tooth that he's filing. Yeah. Real smooth, so you can hear the you can hear the sound change in his filing, and I think that's something that Aokisan is also listening to. He's not just looking for the or he's not doing it for the feel, but he's also doing it for the sound. Aoki-san is just explaining just now, when he sharpens the teeth, he's only doing one face at a time. And when you're looking at the Yokobiki side, which is the side that does the um, across the grain cuts, that side you have to do it four times. So he's just flipped the saw and now he's on the third face. So each tooth, because it's sitting like this, each tooth has two faces, a back and a front and a back and a front for the opposing tooth. So that's why he has to do it four times. And that's why earlier I was saying that he's done about 25%, meaning he only did one side of the faces. Now he's on the third time around, and this is for the Yokobiki. When he does the Tate Biki, he's only gonna do it two times because it's a little bit simpler design. <laughs>
だんだん綺麗になっていく過程がやっぱ嬉しいですよねあ結局戻,り戻すっていうかね、うん、復元するっていうかそれが今やってる、えー、見立てっていう工程になりますね青木さんはこのお仕事好きですか好きだなんとなくなった三四十年弱ぐらいになるからなうん面白いですかうまくいった時はね<笑><笑>うまくいかない時はそれは勉強不足だしょうがないだから最初お別れした時にパッと見て例えばこ,これの子だったらどの程度にやればいいかなっていう見て瞬間に頭さえがかなくちゃなんないわけだね。ただ前にも言ったようにこの商売っていうのは。お金した以上は失敗は許さない。間違ったとか、うん、ヘリクズの音楽は無用な世界、うん。だから困らない。そうですね、うん。切れるか切れないか。で自分が良しとってお客さんはダメだって言えばそれでダメだって。だからそれが厳しいんだよね。さん今何を直してるんですか？上目調整。どうしてもあの手直しっていうかね、これ使ってみないとそういうわかんないんだ。Alkisan is using this uh,、um, oil that's meant for bladed tools. So you'll use it on nomis, kanas, as well as on the nopos. And this will prevent any kind of rusting. And it also, it's like a penetrant oil.、Uh, I recommend getting this. It's called camellia oil. Hey, okay, yoko dage. Yoko biki, okay. So he wants me to go ahead and try the yoko biki. And you can see how glossy it is. But、um, let's try it. Sound is much, much different, so you can, you can already tell an improvement.
that's it. I mean, I cut about five millimeters off and it's cutting straight. I always do these thin kind of cuts because I want to see whether or not the tool is cutting straight. I once saw my boss at the uh, carpentry shop, Ryo Fujimoto, he was cutting a piece that was like two millimeters thick and uh, he cut it all the way through. So you can cut a very thin piece sometimes, you know. This saw cost me about 500 yen at the, um, at the secondhand shop. And like I said, I, I'm a fan of like trying to rescue some of these older tools from just rusting in the stores. And if I can put some new life into it and get a couple years out of it, that's great. And actually it's not a couple years because you can see how much materials over here on these uh, edges. That indicates that you can sharpen this several times. Probably like uh, Aoki-san was saying about the Gagati, you can probably sharpen it in a hundred years and it'll be, you know, still usable. So this has probably got several decades of use that you can uh, get out of this saw. Asare wa kou kara kou mandeiru, taira de onnaji ku dashi ya dame na. Kochi o sukunaku, dandan to sukunaku. Tade mo onnaji. Soto kui gomi ga ii. Dara, kiri dashi, kiri dashi te higumai ne, hajimeru doki. うん。始めるときに必ず最初からこうはやらないの。うん。やらないでしょ。ここ、ここ。そうだ。こっから釣り出しをしないね。うん。元から。線でしょってね。うん。だから朝では少なく元は。それを加減は一回使ってから整えるっていうかな。難しいんです。だから何回も言うようだけども、論より勝負使って具合いいか悪いか。あと何もない答えは。横はそうやってアサリを見てて、縦は何を見てるんですか？縦も同じ。so these are called feather edge files and they're made by uh, Tsubotama, I guess is the name of the company. And this is the one he used for the dozuki blade. So real, real thin, real fine. Oh, so this is the biggest one and this is the smallest one. Is the roughness the same? Onaji? Uh, so this one's 200 millimeters. So this is Yaku Goju, Yaku Goju millimeters. And this is Nihaku. This is the longest one they make. ヤスリって千番とかあるじゃないですか、二千とか。あ、それは番号で言うのは、あの紙ヤスリの場合はそういうに言います。だけどもヤスリの場合はあくまでも何ミリ。He's got several different brands. So this one's Matsu, this one's Tsubotama, and he's got Nito. だからツボ玉がなくなったからこれ使ってみてって言うんだけどもあんまり当たり良くない。これ使ったのは使えない。っていうことじゃないんだけどもしょうがないね。now we're working on the tatebiki side of the saw um, and this is going to be a two-time uh, filing process one time one way and then flip and one time the other way
はい、OK、です。So this is A の首、this part right here. This was a little bit bent. So he flattened this out so we can put it back into the handle. And also we just finished the tate biki. And of course earlier today we did the yoko biki. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Okay. You just tap it on the rock. It's cool. Hey, okay. Okay. So we're going to try tate biki now, which is going to be with the grain, right? So I'm going to start it with the yoko biki. And then I'm going to turn it. I like to get it scored. No, actually, I thought it was pretty good. It's cutting very straight, masugu, yeah? So I thought it was pretty good. This part right here, you can see the handle's bent. Okay, so there's so much sawdust coming out. So every pull is not a wasted pull, you know? So we just uh, did a little bit more tuning. Uh, Aoki san didn't like the sound it was making, so he went back in and just did a few taps just to see if he can straighten these. Teeth a little bit more. Maybe not straighten it, but adjust them a little bit. So I'm going to start another groove. So I start it and then I flip it. Now you can see it's cutting straight. So if you had a if you had a line or a sumi, you'll be able to uh, follow that line. I think it's okay. You know, sometimes it kind of curves the cut, and it may not curve over here, but what it'll do, it'll curve on the inside. And uh, this one's quite straight, so I think it looks good. This wood is a little bit. Yeah. So you're doing some more tuning. So you just did a little bit more tuning to see if we can get a little bit better sound. Oh, hey. 
Let me move it further down. Can I move it for you? Should I cut the whole log? Yoko. Yoko. Okay, so we're gonna try Yoko Biki now. Hey, okay. That's real nice. That's very nice. It, it feels so good, like uh, when you have a good cutting saw and you see those that sawdust coming off, you know, you know you're making progress. Because there's some saws, you don't see this sawdust coming off. And um, that's what happens when you sharpen a saw, right? You know, you always got to uh, take care of your equipment. My buddy always says, if you're not wearing out equipment, you're doing something wrong, right? So it's important to wear out your saws and then also take the time to resharpen them. So I'm a fan of these kind of saws just because you can get so many years of life out of it. And I'm really thankful to Aoki-san for taking the time today to show us how to properly sharpen this blade. And um, 500 yen, you can see here, 500 yen from the, uh, from the secondhand shop, but brought new life to this saw. I mean, it's probably one of my best saws. He's laughing. But... Thank you, arigato gozaimasu. So this right here on the saw, you wanna, you wanna uh, make it angled like this, as well as on the top. So you'll see a lot of saws, they crack here. And that's because this last tooth is too high. So it catches the wood, and this will crack off, crack off. Two to this and that. 